people will make memes of us and things like that. And hey, there's a I, meme of George Bald, by the way, that's yes. iconic. And that became the screen <laughs> of everybody's phone when we did our like cost trip to Hawaii. Lads, that doorbell scene at the end <laughs> of uh, season two, Jesus Christ. Have <laughs> you had people asking you or pestering you as to what happens next? Yes. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people saying yeah. like, tell me, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> and have you George have you said it to anyone yet what has happened or what did happen not unless I've maybe had a few drinks no I'm joking no, <laughs> I, I, I haven't I've kept it very I've kept it very under my hat did you find Michael that the fandom around this show is just people get so invested in it yeah man I mean I, I think it's like the cool thing about it is like people are so invested in like the characters I mean I guess that means that it it definitely resonates with a lot of people so that's that's sick but um yeah no dude the people people get uh, were freaking out when that the whole door thing happened they're like how can you do this to me like they really think that we're the characters like that <laughs> it's so funny uh, can I ask though um Michael for you as well how was that feel like did you feel in that straight after season two or did you just have a break and go back again how did that how did that filming work out so so we we basically um so we filmed the door scene actually in season two except like George's part so we filmed like all that stuff but we filmed it at uh, Benji's house so when we were at Benji's house I obviously knew it was it was Benji um, but they tried to make it as like whose house is it? No one's gonna know as as possible. Um, and then from there, we kind of just were like, all right, cool. Then we came back. We started exactly where we left off. You know, they had to make sure the hair and everything matched almost I- like identical. And then we went into the rest of the scene where it's like he answers the door and whatever else. So it's mad. Like, do you find that like this is like an LGBTQ? it's a series that's just normal there's no m- madness in it can you feel that when you're filming it that there's something special in it george oh 100 percent. yeah definitely i think like my scenes with michael always feel really special like we feel like there's like so much like natural chemistry there um and connection and yeah i i get that impression for sure like it, it really felt like one of those special jobs and then when the show does come out and does make that impact and does connect so much with people it's it's a real blessing you know did you have many people reaching out to you after even the first season for both a question for both of you is like, was there people going, wow, you've kind of changed my outlook or you've changed the way I think? Yeah. I mean, um, I, I definitely got a lot of messages of people just being like, I, 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 I didn't respond to a whole bunch, but I screenshotted like the really nice ones and just like, cause it, it, it means something when it's like your, your, your art makes an impact on people's lives. Like that means something that's like, at least the whole reason why I became an artist and and so it was cool to just like see so many people being like this has changed my life because of this and they're like this show has inspired me to come out to my family like that means something you know yeah what about yourself George yeah there was so there was so many like heartfelt messages um people like a lot of the times when people come up to me and they say things like um I wish I had a show like this growing up like I'd say that that really like that really makes me feel proud of the show you know, but yeah, it's definitely on social media. There's, there's a lot of messages from, from like young people who, who are like, who feel like they can identify with the show. And I think that's a really, really positive thing. Um, so we're coming to an end and I have a hard, funny feeling that it's going to be very, very emotional. Will you please try and set us up for what happens near the end without telling us what happened? Are we going to need tissues? Is it going to be a celebration? <laughs> I think I think some people will be celebrating. Some people will, will be crying because it's just like I mean, dude, it's it's sad. We, like we were it, crying a lot on that on that last day, dude. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> I cried a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's video of you of you of you doing of you crying. You yeah, I, I was I was um, I think it I think it is a very full circle ending. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. I have two episodes left, and I watched it with my other half when we got the preview. And we said, right, we're going to take a break and then going to go back to it. Because do you find with the whole binging world now that it's mad because you kind of get rid of it? It's gone. Then you can't watch. Like, you've seen it. Is that yeah. daunting for you guys that so many people watch this? Mm, 
I don't know if it's daunting. Um, it's strange because it's kind of abstract because like you don't, you can't really, um, you, you know, it's just hard to comprehend that, you know, in, in a way. Um, but yeah, I mean, the binging thing is like, I, I, I binged season two. I waited till my parents came out to LA and then we binged it together. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was funny seeing them sometimes side with my character, sometimes side with Michael's get really invested in it. Cause that's what binging you get so invested, um, for this brief time, like a dream or something. And then it's just like, it's just over, you know? Yeah. With fandom, you know, like I've been online having a look at some stuff and all that. Do you ever favorite tweets or Instagrams just to kind of let people think they're onto something when they're probably absolutely not? Like throw them off the scent a bit. I think I think uh, I'm definitely a troll. Like I'll, I'll mess with people and like I'll just I, I'm I'm the type of person where it's like I'll just say stupid stuff. Like I'll just like say something that makes no sense at all. Like on something and they'll be like, "What does this mean?" <laughs> But yeah, I, I love I love messing with people online. It's the best. I like to favorite like the funny tweets. Like people will make memes of us and things like that. And hey, there's a I, meme of George Bald, by the way. That's yes. iconic. And that became the screen <laughs> for everybody's phone when we did our like cost trip to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> one one thing I did notice about this um about this season that there's a lot more character development with all the other with all the other uh, actors in it. Would you th- do you think people will be like, oh, I never knew that? They'll get more invested in that. Do you think when they watch it for the first time on June fourteenth? Yeah, I, I think so. I think um, I would I'd agree with you. I think this season sort of matures with the characters and um we get to like go deeper into like a lot of their issues and struggles and how that relates to growing up and being in high school and all the parenting issues like there's there's a lot that happens so yeah i think i think i think people will have like i think it'll be interesting to see what people do relate to and connect to you know i think it'll be different for everyone yeah amazing well guys you know what i actually I'm gutted that I have two more episodes left because it was fantastic. Uh, thanks so much. Like, seriously, it's, it's, it's incredible.